Hello, we're Paxman, and for over 20 years, we've helped tens of thousands of people like you to keep their hair during chemotherapy. You're in safe hands. Paxman is a family business that was born when our chairman's wife started losing her hair during chemotherapy for breast cancer. We've seen at first hand just how devastating this can be. We also know that many people consider hair loss as the most feared and common side effect of chemotherapy treatment. The problem is not cosmetic or vanity, but has very real psychological effects. Did you know that up to 8% of patients reject chemotherapy outright as they don't want to lose their hair? The emotional effect is considerable and can have a dramatic impact on self-esteem. But there is something that can be done Scalp cooling can be used during chemotherapy to prevent or reduce hair loss, known as chemotherapy-induced alopecia. Treatment with scalp cooling can positively impact the confidence, sense of control, and hope of people who use it. Chemotherapy works by targeting all rapidly dividing cells in the body. Hair contains the second fastest dividing cell, which is why many chemotherapy drugs cause hair loss. Chemotherapy damages hair follicles at the root of the hair, resulting in hair loss approximately two weeks after the start of chemotherapy. The damage that chemotherapy causes to the hair follicle can be alleviated by using scalp cooling. It works by reducing the temperature of the scalp by a few degrees immediately before, during, and after the administration of chemotherapy. This in turn reduces the blood flow to hair follicles, which may prevent or minimize hair loss. Cooling causes blood vessel vasoconstriction, which has been shown to reduce blood flow in the scalp to 20 to 40% of the normal rate, resulting in less chemotherapeutic drug being delivered to the hair follicles. An important study was recently published in the Journal of the American Medical Association, or JAMA, evaluating scalp cooling to prevent chemotherapy-induced alopecia. At the time of the final analysis, 184 patients were evaluable. Women with breast cancer receiving chemotherapy with ataxane or anthracycline had a 53% rate of hair preservation versus 0% in the control group after four cycles of chemotherapy. Tolerance of the cold feeling experienced while having scalp cooling varies widely from person to person. People often experience an intense feeling of discomfort or pain from the cold in the first 10 to 15 minutes of treatment. This is transient and is likely to go away as you get used to the cold. Deep breathing during these initial stages can really help alleviate this. The majority of patients using the Paxman scalp cooling system reported a high level of comfort and acceptability. You should prepare yourself that you will see hair loss even with scalp cooling, especially in the first and second chemotherapy cycles. The rate of hair retention varies from patient to patient, and although it cannot be guaranteed that you will not lose any or all of your hair, Many people still feel that scalp cooling is successful when losing 50% or sometimes more of their hair. In addition, known side effects associated with scalp cooling include chills, dizziness, headache, and nausea. The risk of scalp metastases in patients using scalp cooling has been a concern but is poorly described. An extensive review was undertaken to evaluate the effect of scalp cooling versus no scalp cooling on the risk of scalp metastasis in patients treated for breast cancer with chemotherapy. The review concluded that the incidence of scalp metastases was low regardless of scalp cooling. This suggests that scalp cooling does not increase the incidence of scalp metastases. Paxman continues to study scalp metastases. The Paxman scalp cooling system consists of a compact refrigeration unit containing a coolant that is circulated through a specially designed, flexible silicone Paxman cooling cap. When using the Paxman scalp cooling system, you'll receive your own personal cap kit to own and keep. This includes your cap, neoprene cover, headband, accessories, and care instructions. For treatment to be successful, 
the scalp needs to be maintained at a constant temperature. This is achieved by correctly fitting the most important feature of our system, the lightweight Paxman cooling cap. For successful scalp cooling, it's really important that you learn how your cap is correctly fitted. Practice preparing your hair and fitting your cap at least three times before your treatment starts. Our website has lots of helpful instructions, including tutorial videos. Remember, you will need to come to your chemotherapy treatments ready to manage the scalp cooling part of your treatment by yourself or with a family member to help you. Be prepared. On the day of your treatment, take your Paxman kit and make sure you bring the following with you. Warm clothing, hat head covering, neck scarf. The Paxman Hub will send you your Paxman personal cap kit. Here's how it works. During the pre-chemotherapy meeting, scalp cooling for hair preservation will be explained by your doctor. Day one, your doctor's office will fax the enrollment form to the Paxman Hub. Day two, Paxman Hub will reach out to you within 24 hours to discuss the pay-for-use token process and take payment. Day three, your Paxman personal cap kit is sent out to you. Day four, your Paxman personal cap kit will be delivered to your home. It contains everything you need to be prepared for scalp cooling. Don't forget to watch the instructional videos. Then, when your treatment day comes, don't forget to take your kit with you. You can download an enrollment form by visiting our website, paxmanusa.com. The cost of the Paxman Personal Cap Kit is $500. Chemo cycles one through four are $200 per cycle. Cycles five and six are $150 per cycle. And cycles seven through 12 are $100 per cycle. Pricing is capped at $2,200 per patient. If a cap has been used for patient treatment, it is then non-refundable. Any unused treatment cooling credits are refundable following completion of an enrollment form by the treating physician. Hair to Stay is the only national nonprofit organization dedicated to providing financial support to patients who can't afford scalp cooling. Visit their website at hairtostay.org. Patient care is at the heart of everything that we do at Paxman. It's our goal to ensure that everyone no matter where they are in the world, can keep their hair during chemotherapy. Speak to your physician about Paxman scalp cooling, or for more information, visit our website, paxmanusa.com. Paxman, chasing zero hair loss during chemotherapy.